Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. How y'all doing? Happy Saturday. Uh, today we are over this way again, <laughs> and we'll be here for quite some time. I'm gonna move my mic a little bit farther. Um, and today we're gonna do some interior design, uh, and gonna talk about a couple things, uh, too. So first off, I have a couple more hay bales, so that'll be good. And, and a couple more composters too, but most importantly, hay bales. So we got three more. I just bone mealed these really quick. Didn't bother going back to the old base. Um, there we go. And you know what? We don't need that space. There we go. Awesome. That looks much more full. <laughs> that looks a lot better. All right. Good stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, I wanted this to be a saddle shop. So we're going to make this a saddle shop. And uh, while we do that, uh, with the, we're also making a fletching shop. So that'll be good. Let's make six of those. Why not? And I need wood. Let's do this type of wood. There we go. I love having all these crafting benches around. This is nice. That was not enough. <laughs> um, there we go. <laughs> it takes some real concentration to do this. Um, there we go. Fine, five. There we go. Five will do. Um, but today I wanted to talk about, let me get my Bible over here, uh, more about the story and account arcs of, um, of, uh, Pharaoh and Moses. Let's put a saddle right here. Boink. There we go. That'll look good. And there we go. Um, let's make a chest over here too. Uh, so, what I noticed from Pharaoh's side of things, uh, besides what we were talking about yesterday, there we go, um, with knowing uh, that he hardened his heart against the Lord, so after the, you know, seventh, eighth time you do that, uh, you're, <laughs> you're bound for discipline uh, and punishment, so the Lord hardened him, his heart there. But, um, let's see here. Okay, first of all, from the plague of, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the plague of, there we go, Locus, um, his arrogance and pride clouds his judgment, uh, which is powerful testimony to us as Christians to make sure we are not, <laughs> we are not prideful or arrogant whatsoever. Um, cause <laughs> if that is happening, oh, where should we put this? Maybe, nah, I got an idea. Um, yeah, which is really, really needed, uh, in the Christian, Christian life, which, uh, mm, I don't like it there. Maybe this doesn't have any, maybe it's, uh, I mean, I guess I could, and eh, that would look... Oh, wait. Oh, yes! We'll keep it like that. <laughs> um, yeah, just, uh, just goes to show. You really do need that, uh, let's make another crafting table in here. Always, there's never enough crafting tables. I can tell you that right now. Do that, like. Let's do that, like, and let's do that. There we go. Oh, these look like shutters. I didn't realize that. There we go. And do that. Point. Oh, I don't like how it's hiding there. There we go. Um. There we go. And like. Awesome. I think this one's pretty much done. Let's put a, uh, a 
thing of flint right here. And yeah. That'll be good. Good deal. Boink. Awesome. Uh, but then it's interesting how he progresses and he takes, <laughs> he takes, um, he apologizes for his acts of disbelief and whatnot, but then he wraps others in it, like his people. <laughs> and I think that's really powerful too, uh, that you cannot take, uh, he was so prideful and arrogant that he couldn't take the blame for himself, uh, which is... Uh, not a good place to be. This is the tool shop. That's right. Uh, which is, yeah, really not a good place to be. Mike. And let's make a weapon smith. A smithing table. Put that right there. Yeah, that looks good. Let's make another crafting table. Mike. Uh, but then he tries to compromise in the, uh, the plague of, uh, Darkness, there we go. Um, with with Moses, like, okay, you can take your take your uh, people there, but not your children and livestock. Like, tries to hold them ransom and whatnot, which is uh, another big no no. Oh, let's make an anvil. Let's put an anvil in here. Wee, awesome. And I guess a grindstone too. One in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that'd be a nah. A tool shop would have that too. Uh, I was thinking about a weapon shop. That'll be a little bit later. There we go. Um, plus we need an anvil around here. There we go. And let's grab that grindstone. Awesome. Um, he tries to compromise. And that doesn't work when the Lord says what he's saying. <laughs> let, his, let people go. Let the lights go with everything. Um, it doesn't really work that way. Uh, and... Oh, what? I didn't know you could stack these right here. That's so cool, but that's not what I wanted. That's really cool. Mm, that's not what I wanted either. There we go. That's good. Um, put a... There we go. And let's make a couple more... There we go. Uh, so yeah, compromising does not work in the Lord's will. <laughs> uh, when something needs to happen, his sovereign will. Um, so that's <laughs> a little word to the wise for you. <laughs> um, yeah, crazy, right? Um, but did you also catch that? Um, here, I'm going to read it. Verse 3 here. Now the Lord has caused the Egyptians to look favorably on the people of Israel, and Moses was considered a very great man in the land of Egypt. He was respected by Pharaoh's officials and the Egyptian people alike. Now, remember who Moses was, right? He was a murderer of the Egyptian people, first and foremost, in Exodus 2. He was a foreigner which we already see that they despise because uh, especially Hebrew or Israelite foreigners, uh, <laughs> which is uh, something crazy, right? And then, there we go. Um, and, ooh, do, 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 do. yeah, he was a slave. He was supposed to be a slave, Hebrew. You know, they are enslaved, and yet he's coming boldly into the Pharaoh's courtroom. Um, wow, I do not have much for this thing. Um, so just all of those combined, you know that God's hand is in it. When the Egyptians, who despise shepherds, and that's what he was, a shepherd. That's what Israel was, really, for Egypt. They were... They were originally uh, shepherdesses, shepherds and shepherdesses. Yeah, let's go with shepherdess, <laughs> shepherdesses. Um, so for them to look favorably on them when there's discrimination and almost racism, actually there is racism, racism there is uh, just kind of crazy, right? Oh yeah, I like this. 
This is good. Uh, let's close this and let's see if we can sneak another thing in there. Uh, let's do this. I don't know why I made so many stone pickaxes, but that's okay. I guess I can put another right here. There we go. Um, but yeah, so just, just thinking about it. <laughs> Actually, we can do that. Boink. There we go. That'll do. And yeah, let's see here. Oh, let's read verse 10, 11, uh, chapter 11. Although Moses and Aaron did these miracles in Pharaoh's presence, the Lord hardened his heart so he wouldn't let the Israelites leave. Now that is powerful because a lot of people always say that believe, seeing is believing. And in this case, not at all. <laughs> I was like, you think seeing is believing? Let me show you how it's not. And <laughs> Pharaoh, ooh, hello, lag spike. Even though Pharaoh saw everything, literally, he, it was even a point to have Pharaoh uh, be there when these miracles were done, uh, but yet still not believe is really saying something about today's culture and the culture over there. So believing is not always seeing. And yeah, uh, I have one more topic around here, but uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be for another day. And then we'll move on from Exodus 12 <laughs> into the parting of the Red Sea uh, after tomorrow. But in the meantime, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I'm glad for what the work we did today, because uh, I think it was important, even though it's kind of bare. Uh, the more ideas I come with it, come with, uh, the more, ooh, the more I'll do. So, it'll be good. Ooh. So, yeah. I'm really happy at how this is turning out. Uh, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. God bless.